Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 4 on basic statistics. In this lecture, we are going to discuss how to find median for frequency distributions. So, we have already discussed how to find median for on group data or row data. And uh, if we recall, for on group data, if we have n number of observations and if n is odd, then median is equal to n plus 1 by tooth observation. This we have already discussed in lecture number 2. And if n is even, then median is average of, median is nothing but average of n by tooth and n by 2 plus 1th observation. So, in case of frequency distribution also, we are going to use this uh, two formulas in the case of odd and even number of observations. But here what happens that uh, we have, we are given frequencies of particular observations. So, first we have to decide total number of observations by taking sum of all the frequencies and then we have to decide that uh, what is the n plus 1 by tooth observation if n is odd or what is this observation if n is even. So, we will discuss both the cases one by one. First, we will decide uh, how to find out median if number of observations are odd and then we will discuss for even number of observations. So, first I have written here we discuss how to find median in case of odd number of observations. So, again we recall if number of observations n is odd then median is the observation at n plus 1 by tooth position. So, we have to find out the observation at this position n plus 1 by tooth position. So, here first thing what we have to do is we have to find out total number of observations that we can find by taking sum of all these frequencies. So, that we have written in the form of table this first column for values of x, second column for corresponding frequencies. So, if we sum all these uh, frequencies then we can see we have 3 plus 4 that is 7 plus 7 that is 14 plus 6 that is 20 plus 3 23. So, sum of all the frequencies is 23 that means we have 23 observations that means number of observations are odd. So, we have to uh, decide what is the value of x at this position n plus 1 by tooth position. So, for that we find out value of n plus 1 by 2 that is 23 plus 1 by 2 that is 24 divided by 2 and it is 12. So, we have to find out value of x which is at 12th position or 12th observation will be the value of median because here n is odd. So, to find out the position of particular observation we are adding one more column in this table which is known as cumulative frequency this CF stands for cumulative frequency that is we are adding all the frequencies and uh, we will obtain cumulative frequencies. So, how to write down cumulative frequencies? So, first we write this frequency as it is then we add first two frequencies that is 3 plus 4 which is 7 then we add first three frequencies or we add this frequency to this sum that is 7 plus 7 which is 14, then we add 14 and 6 that is 20, then we add 20 to this frequency 3. So, we obtain 23 as the last value of cumulative frequency and this is a double check whether our cumulative frequencies are correct or not. This uh, last cumulative frequency must be equal to sum of all these frequencies. So, using these cumulative frequencies, we can decide the particular position of a particular value of x or we can decide that at particular position 
what will be the corresponding value of x or what will be the corresponding observation for particular position so how it will be helpful to us so we can understand in this way here uh, first observation is 0 and its frequency is 3 so 3 is repeated 3 times uh, sorry 0 is repeated 3 times so we can say that first 3 observations must be 0 then we can see that 1 is repeated 4 times so first uh, after this three observations or after these three positions there will be one at uh, upcoming four positions that is uh, these are the position number one two and three so first three positions are occupied by zero and this one occupies position number four to seven so uh, this 7 means uh, we have to uh, write 1 up to 7th position and it is starting from 4 because up to 3 we have 0. So 4 to 7 positions are occupied by number 1 or this value of x. Similarly we can see that 2 is repeated 7 times. So this uh, 1 this one is at 7th position so next position will be 8 so 2 is starting from 8th position and it will go up to 14th position that means we have to write 2 here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we can see this is 18th position this is sorry this is 8th position this is 9th this is 10th 11th 12th 13th and 14th position so we can see position number 8 to 14 are occupied by this observation 2 and we are interested in the position number 12 so we can see here that observation at position number 12 is 2 or 2 is the 12th observation so from this we can have the idea that if uh, this n plus 1 by 2 equal to 12 then uh, I can understand from this that up to 7th position uh, we have 1 up to 14th position we have 2 so this 14 figure indicates that here we are having 7 and here we are having 14 so uh, this 2 is starting from 8 and it is going up to 14th so position number 8 to 14 are occupied by this number 2. So 2 is at, at the 12th position. So we can say that value of median is 2 for this data which is given in terms of x and f. So in this way cumulative frequencies are helpful. We don't have to write down all these things. This is just for understanding that how we are using cumulative frequencies to decide the position of particular observation. So what we have to do is we just find out n plus 1 by 2 because n is odd here. So n plus 1 by 2 is 12 because n is 23. So we have to find out the observation at 12th position. So 12th position is obviously after this 7th position and before this 14th position. So 12th position must be here and the corresponding value of x is 2 therefore median is 2. So we have to write systematically here that uh, uh, we have to mention all these things here n is 23 and it is odd so the n plus 1 by 2 equal to 24 by 2 equal to 12th observation is median okay, therefore n plus 1 by 2 th observation that is 12th observation is median and from this cumulative frequency we find that 12th observation is 2.
not only 12 but observation starting from 8th to up to 14 observations which are at position 8 to 14 are also 2 but here our interest is in the observation at 12th position so we consider that position and 2 is the required median for this data so in this way we uh, we will use cumulative frequencies to decide the position of our median and uh, another thing you can cross check is you can write down in this way that zero is the first observation it is repeated three times then second observation is one it is repeated four times so we write four times one then 2 is repeated 7 times so we write 7 times 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and we are interested in 12th position so we start by counting from this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so we can see 2 is at the 12th position or 12th observation is 2 therefore median is 2 but from cumulative frequencies we can easily decide the median by uh, this type of analysis suppose we are interested in the uh, 22th position then we can see 22th position will be here observation at 22th position will be here because here we have up to 20th position and this uh, this cumulative frequency 23 says that this is starting from 21st position so 21st 22 and 23 because we have frequency 3 here so these three observations uh, these three positions will give us 4 so to decide the particular position we will use cumulative frequencies so in this way if number of observations are odd we can decide the median now we consider the case in which we have even number of observations so if number of observations is even so find median for the following frequency distribution first we have to decide value of n which is sum of all the frequencies that i have calculated and it is 50 so 50 is even so if number of observations are even then median is the average of n by 2th observation and n by 2 plus 1th observations so n by 2th observation will be equal to 50 by 2 that is 25th observation and n by 2 plus 1th observation will be equal to n by 2 is 25 plus 1 that is 26th observation so first we have to decide these positions 25th position and 26th position or we have to decide what are the observations corresponding to this 25 and 26 so for that again we can use cumulative frequencies so 25th observation will be here we have 25 cumulative frequency here so we can see uh, up to 20 we are here so corresponding to this we have these positions 21 22 23 24 and 25 so 25th observation will be this one 2 so observation at 25th position or 25th observation is 2 then we are interested in the 26th observation so obviously 26th observation will be after 25th observation that is somewhere here here we have 10 frequencies so observations uh, positions number 26 to 35 will be here so this 10 positions will be occupied by this value of x which is 3 we are interested in the 26th position so 26th position will give us x equal to 3 and 25th position is 2 
so we have to take average of these two and three so 25th or we can directly write that median equal to average of 25th observation and 26th observation so 25th observation plus 26th observation divided by 2 25th observation is 2 and 26th observation is 3 so we have 2 plus 3 divided by 2 so let me check this is 25th observation 26th observation is 3 so 2 plus 3 divided by 2 that is 5 by 2 that is 2.5 so value of median for this data in which we have even number of observations is 2.5 so in this way we can decide median of a discrete frequency distribution for that we are using cumulative frequencies and we are using the same formula that sample median is equal to n plus 1 by tooth observation if n is odd and uh, it is average of n by tooth observation and n by 2 plus 1th observation if n is even so we will remember this formula and using cumulative frequencies we will be able to decide the position of particular observation or we will be decide we will be able to decide that at particular position what is the value of corresponding variable okay, so this is all about this lecture i hope you like it in the next lecture we will discuss how to find median in case of grouped frequency distribution thank you